I want to be the very best like no one ever was. To catch them is was my... my real test. To train them is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Each Pokemon to understand how it gets inside. Did you just say you didn't know the lyrics? Pokemon! <laughs> Fuck it, we'll keep it. Hey guys, it's Dario. Oh We're back in Atlanta and... We're reviewing Pikachu, Detective Pikachu. Oh, shit. I wanted to, no, let's just review Pikachu like the character. <laughs> okay, we will. We are reviewing. Oh my God. Pokemon. Oh my God, just hit our music, please. 10 out of 10. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go, let's all go, let's, let's, let's all go to the lobby. <laughs> That's a twist. That's very twisty. <laughs> she was way off too. <laughs> like that was the shit right there. Just way off too. It was great. Oh God, that broke me. <laughs> I've been trying to hit the notes. I thought I was. <laughs> the power that's inside. Man, she put some stank on yes, it. I did. I ain't bad at her. I gave it some flavor. <laughs> okay, okay. For let's, our fans. Let's 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 hit into it. Let me, let me also pull up the IMDB. <laughs> Cause I know I need that to remember old dude's name. Oh yeah. Who? Jesse Smith? That's his name, Jesse Smith? I don't know. Justice Smith. Justin, Justin Smith. Oh. Justice. Justice. Where the hell did I get Jessica? I don't know. Detective Pikachu, directed by I don't know, but it's Detective, Detective Pikachu. Got a name. He got a. You know what? You know what? I here, was gonna say, here, how here. are you gonna introduce here, 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 Detective here, Pikachu? Here, here, here. Y'all ain't helping me. I don't, it, I don't see y'all putting pulling up your phone. I said he didn't have a name. I said I don't know. I admitted I didn't know. Wow, we are professionals right now. Incredibly so professional. professional. I love this. Incredibly, Rob Letterman. There you go. Detective Pikachu, directed by. Rob Letterman, starring Justice Smith and Ryan Reynolds. You happy now? Are we happy? Yes. We're good with this. Yeah. We're happy with this? Yeah, it's fine. called Organization yeah. and Preparedness. Perfect, perfect. All right, it's uh, technically a video game movie. Because they did, they did come out with the game Detective Pikachu and DS like a couple years ago. Yeah. A few years ago, in fact. And it is based in Pokemon World. And oh my God, this looks so beautiful. This movie is just so beautiful. Like so, the, like after this review is done, I'm packing up my bags and I'm moving to Rhyme City. Oh yeah, like that's just gonna happen. I don't even need yeah. a Pokemon partner yet. I'm just gonna ride over there and just be yeah. like, I'm a pick I'm a one. I'm gonna choose somebody. They're gonna get chose. Just like that. I mean, there are plenty in the city. Yeah, because like I, 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 I want to go see it again just so I can catch every Pokemon that was in yeah. the Yeah, yeah, I would okay, too. Okay, for, for so here, here's here's a little note. I, I I hated watching this in that Screen X because well, it was you, you so disordered. You have to explain what that is. Okay, so so we were, we were in this we were in this theater, and just like a regular normal theater, except the projector spreads out to the walls. Yeah, on so certain you, scenes. Yeah, so you get like the whole view or landscape of the city, which like in theory. Is a great idea. It, it Thumbs is. up, 10 out of 10. Yeah. The problem is, it is so disorienting the very first... Like, if this is your first time watching it, it's so freaking disorienting yes. that you can't sit down and enjoy the rest of the, the rest of the scenes because I'm sitting here going like, hey, there's, there's dialogue happening at? right here and I'm like, oh, wow, there's a Flareon over there. Yeah. And I'm looking like this and I'm completely missing out on everything right here. Yeah. And the worst part was, and this isn't a knock against the movie, it's just against the weird way that the theater presented it 
was that it only happened during the action scenes. Oh, yeah, God. that's Like when thing. you wanted to be able to focus, it was spread out across what was essentially three screens. Yeah. With one on each side and then one in front of you. It was, like, was kind of hard to focus, but again, that not the movie itself. No. no it no. was just our movie it going experience. It was just experience. the theater, yeah. That's what that was. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Detective Pikachu, uh, story of Justice Smith, who plays, what's the name? Tim Goodman. Goodman, see, thank you. See, this is why I have help. I need help, because I'm not here. No, you're not. I'm not here. Oh, Tim Goodman God. plays Tim Goodman, the son of a detective who is killed, uh -huh. you know, but also, on the job. You're, you're forgetting some other people, because Ken Watanabe was in there as the police chief. Yeah. I'm going to get to him. Where are you? No. No. No, he was not. <laughs> I was going to completely forget that Ken Watanabe so was in this. So I was going to yell that you were going to get to him, and nowhere... Did it cross the frontal lobe of your brain? Frontal lobe. Yeah, the frontal lobe. I know frontal, what I said. Frontal lobe. Okay, yeah. Ken Watanabe also plays the police chief. Yeah. You, ha you happy now? We, we happy? We got we okay, got Ken go, Watanabe. You can go back to your and his and his and his snubble. I'll, I'll I'll point stuff out when you need to be corrected. Thank you. Thank I, you, I, I, I need thank you. I needed the peanut gallery to keep me, you know, humble. I mean, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, uh, Justice Smith plays Tim. See, I don't forgot his last name. Goodman. Good, good Lord, man. What is wrong with you? I am. I am breakfast full. Okay. Didn't get to sleep last night. I am full of breakfast items. I've got the itis. I need you to focus on the frontal lobe. You ain't helping. I am. Tim Goodman, whose see, father passed away. He didn't pass going. away. He died mysteriously. Yeah. Die mysteriously on the job. And Tim Goodman is there to pick up the pieces, runs into a talking Pikachu. Mm hmm While trying to pick up the pieces of the life that and we start to learn more and more about the relationship between Tim Goodman and his father. Played fantastically by, by Ryan Reynolds. Oh my god, yeah. he stole this movie. Oh yeah. Here's 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 the problem. Here's the problem. I don't think he stole the movie as much as he made sure people were reminded that this was his movie to begin with. Okay, yeah. fine, fine. Yeah. I'll, I'll accept that. But my biggest problem with this movie, uh, uh, since we're still on the beginning parts, is like so much of the trailer, like took away like a lot of the surprises in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Because, like, of course, you know, you got to try to find a way to pull you in. So, but, like, like at least a good third of this movie is given away in the trailers. But it's still kind of funny uh, in the moment. So, that it doesn't detract from it. But I just kind of wish, like, I enjoyed it a little bit more because yeah. I, I I wouldn't have seen it coming. Right. Yeah. That's, that's really what it is. But, like, the rest of the movie's perfect. Ryan Reynolds is perfect in this movie. He's absolutely oh, yeah. freaking fantastic yeah, he, he is. in this movie. I and love Ryan Reynolds. Justice Smith is, is pretty damn good as as a sympathetic character in, in this movie and also as playing the straight man to Ryan Reynolds's Pikachu ness. Yeah. They, yeah, they had a really good insane. relationship. Yeah, they yeah. played very, very well off of each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I was actually kind of expecting to get annoyed by Ryan Reynolds Why? in this movie. Let me finish. Okay. Let me finish. I was expecting to do it because, like, so in contrast, we have the new Sonic movie coming out soon, right? Oh my God. What and that? having that trailer before Detective Pikachu is just insulting the Sonic. It, it didn't. Because it, 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 it's like, wow, that just doesn't look good, huh? Not at no. all. Anyway, we're going to be in a wonderful fantasy land for the next hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. Well, I enjoy the fantasy land. But, like, in that trailer, you had Jim Carrey playing as the crazy, wild, and out there character who's probably going to be stealing this whole movie. I was going to say, right? I think Jim Carrey's going to make Sonic. So I, I was expecting the same kind of necessary wildness from Ryan Reynolds for the rest of this movie. No, but just, it didn't happen. He was, he was just... Um, he was a PG version of his character from Waiting. I, I was going to say, I think he just yeah. kind of... He just scaled it back a little bit. PG ish. PG ish. Well, PG, PG ish. He yeah. wasn't PG 13. He almost got there a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. Almost. He almost got there a yeah. couple of times. He did. And um, there's a lot of innuendo that you're just like, whoa, bruh. Hey, I'm surprised Nintendo let that through. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I think he just kind of scaled it back a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That works. Compared to how he usually. And I think he did that very well, considering it could have gotten to. Like a really, we didn't weird need we didn't we didn't need or... to see Pikachu being raunchy. 
Yeah. That's all that needs. That's all that needs to be said. Yeah. We didn't need to see Pikachu being Raji, but it, uh, but he was perfect in this. Justice Smith was great in this. Ken Watanabe, for what little he was actually in the movie, was actually still. You know, I liked having him on the screen. Plus, his snubble is cute. Mm-hmm. His little snubble partner. It's awesome. The Pokemon in this look fantastic. You're forgetting about one other character. Mother. Just tell, say it, say it, say what I'm saying. I don't give a shit about no Lucy. Yes, you do! The journalist? Yes, you do! And Lucy, Lucy. we got Lucy, Lucy the journalist. Who's a, and her Psyduck. Who's a big chunk of... Yeah, she is. Yeah. Very important. What are you doing? Yeah. I completely forgot about her. I can tell. I mean, yeah, I didn't see, forget about she her. Actually was, I, I willfully forgot about her. She was Catherine not- Newton. Yes. Yeah, she we, was we not a forgettable that. character. We go with that Catherine Newton playing the journalist. Right. She was, she's actually technically an intern. No, nah, she's a journalist. Yeah, she's a journalist. I said technically. She's a journalist. She's a hard-nosed reporter. Yeah. She's an intern. She's getting people coffee. That's what she's doing. That's what she is. Well, I thought she, play, I thought she played her role very well. I didn't well. say she didn't. You almost forgot about talking about her. Cause I wasn't gonna talk about everybody in this damn movie. I'm just getting. I'm just doing just the crib about notes. The formidable character. I'm just that... doing the crib notes. But fine, fine. L- Lucy mm-hmm. and her side duck. Yes. Moving the plot along, doing this investigation, investigating the same thing that Tim Goodman. See, I remember Goodman. What his father was doing mm-hmm. before he got killed. Yes. Okay. And it's a. It's a really. It's actually pretty decent. Decent freaking mystery. I'm not gonna lie. Like just, just in terms of story, it's a, it's a nice little mystery movie. It, it was. It's a nice little. mystery It was. Movie. It actually had that bite. Like you didn't see the foreshadowing of what really was going on behind the mystery. Yeah, that's, it, it, as I said, it's very twisty. Yeah. Very twisty, and and like I didn't I actually didn't see the twist coming. No. I actually like I you could you could assume it was coming. Yeah. We didn't see how it was gonna tie into everything. Yeah. And when it does, it's like okay. That makes sense. Yeah. A plus. So basically, whatever theory that you thought was going on in the movie, it was. Oh, you you ain't gonna have no you ain't gonna have no theories in this because like the the characters that actually are the antagonists uh, that actually is the antagonist in this movie you don't even know about them in the trailer. So you're gonna come into this and he's just gonna pop up and be like, okay, this is this is this is who we are. This is this is everything that we need to know right here and there. I think my favorite part of this is. The story itself wraps wraps pretty much everything up with a neat little bow and doesn't fall into the the kind of trope of movies lately of, okay, we kind of have to leave it open-ended a little bit to set up a universe. I'm like, yeah. no, we told our story. It has a beginning, yeah. a middle, and end. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Because I think it, everybody... It introduces the world, which they can play around in. There yeah. You know, that's it what does. it does. It like, does. like I, I had, I had joked around with a few people, going like, "Man, if this movie does actually go pretty well. We might actually see an Ash Ketchum movie in the making, or, like if if the world actually, you know, looks not, good. It looks great. If not Ash, like um, a movie about Red. Oh God, I would love that. I actually oh. would love that. I would. I would. Yeah. I, I'd enjoy the frick out of that. Yeah, but I agree with you. They yeah. they, they did leave it like it just kind of open. Ended because everybody. No, they they closed his yeah, story, but yeah. they left the world open. Right. Yeah. And oh god, this is because we all stayed for the dream. credits to see like, is there? Yeah, was there any in credits? Because there was not. There, there was is no in credits. Perfect, now. perfect, perfect. Which yeah. again, kind of a nice. Yeah. Instead of going like, hey, it's the Pokemon Cinematic Universe. Basically, yeah. Like you have to go see Yellow and you know Silver and Gold to get the whole story because you know how Pokemon. Whatever, I'm making a joke, but it's dumb. Okay, yep. gonna... Boy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What's good? Rude. Okay, you know what? Let's let's speaking of what's good, let's let's hit it. So let's, let's hit with the good, the bad, and the un, our final review. Okay. We're gonna let DJ start. I'll start. Um the bad, there was a couple times to where it looked like the CG budget was running a little thin. And things stood out a little bit more than they needed to. I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna hit that. There was a couple characters that showed up that didn't have enough screen time. Like, um, I don't want to say it because (laughs) because it might be a spoiler. But there's one character you see a lot of his nipples, and I really would have liked to seen like another minute or two with that character just because he was so fun. 
And his nipples were fun too, apparently. Um, there was some, uh, there's what? a couple scenes Don't where. Think about Pokemon nipples? No, it no. wasn't. It wasn't it was, Pokemon. It was the guy in the coat. Yeah. Oh. In in that in that spot. Okay, because I was yeah. a little bit confused. Like, I mean, I mean, is it, is it really is it really a, a spoiler? Yes, because he's also a character that is not seen in any of the trailers. Actually, he is. I didn't see him. Yeah, yeah. When when the uh, w- w- what'd you call him? Uh, explode. 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 Yeah, when they were like you know, doing that in the squirrel in the blast force spin around, he technically was. Well, I wanted on more. The mic. I wanted more of that that character. I wanted yeah. more of him because he was actually funny. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, my last bad is there was a couple minutes where scenes just dragged on for like thirty seconds too long. Okay. And like that's 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 my bad. Like, <laughs> like it's a it's a kids movie, but it feels like a kids movie that knows that adults are probably gonna be more likely to see it than kids are. Okay. It, uh, a friend of mine was saying, and I really agree with this in that it feels like a a good nineties kids movie. All right. Yeah. All right. Dari. Yeah. Uh, the good. Ryan Reynolds. He was a good Pikachu. And then I really love the city. Was it is it Cerulean City or Rhyme City? It is Rhyme, city. Rhyme City. Yeah, like I really love that world. Okay. I really do. The bad. They did no, wait, that's not a bad, that's a good. They <laughs> did not have that racist jinx. Is that the name? Yes. Yeah. Why is it a bad? No, I said it's good. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's a good, because I don't like that Pokemon. I think it's... They can tell. Right. Okay. The bad, yeah, some areas kind of uh, just a little bit too long dragged on, and they probably either could have sped it up or... Cut scene. Cut it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, I don't know, I think if, if I am naming anything else bad, it's more of me reaching. Okay. So that probably is just the best bad that I have. Okay. Okay. Um, my bad. Yeah. So, some of the, there there are some spots where the CGI is just like almost glaringly bad. Like it pulls you. It yeah. pulls me out of the movie a couple. Like times. like towards the climax, there there's a scene where it, like you see it in the trailer, Pikachu jumping around, a bunch of floats and stuff, um, and like you can see where Pikachu is. And like where the computer generated shadow that he leaves mm-hmm. is, and it's just like it's kind of it doesn't pull it didn't pull me out completely, but it's just like it's noticeable, and you're just going like, eh, it could have been a little bit tighter. Uh, and speaking of tight, like this movie could have been a little bit tighter, and it's one of, it's rare that I might say this, but I kind of wish it was like 15 minutes longer to let us like just sort of absorb the world a little bit more and absorb a few characters like a little out, bit more. Cut out some of the, the superfluous stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah cut cut yeah. out a bit of the fluff yeah. here and there and just kind of like let us enjoy uh, the world that they're that they're presenting. Because like, again, this is a world builder's dream. I freaking love this. Like everything that they, yeah. they did. Like I was focusing a lot of times during these dragging scenes, I was focusing on like a lot of the signage and, and the neon signs and Pokemon and the way the world was working. Uh, just a lot of those little mini, little mini hints and Easter eggs about how the world works. Uh, because like this, this was amazing. This was, this was, this was, this was a great way to, uh, to uh, give us the world of Pokemon on the big screen. Um, those are my bad. My good, again, is Ryan Reynolds is absolutely great. Again, I love the whole freaking city. The Pokemon look great. Um, <clears throat> there was an artist on DeviantArt who got hired on for this, who used to do those super realistic mm-hmm. Pokemon. And, like, seeing his work put out like that is just phenomenal. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. One thing I left off on my good is, like, some of the actual cinematography in the movie is really atmospheric yeah yeah at times feels like i don't want to say a kid version but like a a kid version of like a neo-noir movie that you watch yeah especially like early in the when they're just finding out about what happened with harry's dad and like the like a lot of the stuff when he first gets to rhyme city has a nice really it's it's nice 
cinematography. Yeah. Yeah, it was. If only it wasn't matched with a distracting ass screen X bullshit. Yeah. yeah. That's not the movie's fault. I know it's no, not the movie's not. fault. I'm just saying, no. like, like, I wish I could uh, could have enjoyed it just a little bit more because of the particular gimmicky bullshit mm-hmm. that they were doing. Yeah, and I even think uh, the camera that. angles and the camera pacing was good. Too. Oh, yeah, this was, this was pace well. Because it's only like, it's barely 100 minutes long. It's huh. barely 100 minutes long. Is it? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like an hour and 44 minutes. Okay. So it's like, just a little bit, of, just a little bit over that, and it doesn't feel like it. That's what I'm saying. Like I no. could have, I could have stood to have like 15 minutes more, like cut out a, a bit of the the fluff and just add some more atmospheric stuff. And I'd have loved it like even more than I already do right now. <clears throat> and as you said, it's like it's like a good 90s kids film because the people that they expect to come see this are yes kids, parents taking their kids, and people like us who grew up with the damn games and the show and, and, and a there bunch of that. no kids in our audience. Yeah. No, it was not. not. And it wasn't packed. It wasn't even late either. It, it was wasn't. Like, it was a nice little like, 7 yeah. 30 time. So like there was no kids. There was no kids. It was yeah. packed. It was nice. Like I would actually enjoy seeing it again. Yeah. Maybe not in the theater. Maybe not no screen X bullshit. Yeah, no, I'll no, not screen X. Let's go to a regular no, ass. I'll just go to freaking a movie. normal movie theater and not a psychedelic theater. Yeah. 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 Now, on to the actual scores. You know how we do zero mm-hmm. to five. Uh, zero being bullshit. Five means you must, 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 must come see this movie. We're going to start off with DJ. Well, when I, when I drew these things up, I didn't do half stars, and I'm kind of regretting that. But I'm also lazy, so I'm probably not going to do it. I'll probably just make you, like, a half one and send that to you later. But I'd give it, like, riding off the movie high, I gave it a four. But the more I think about it, I'm like, it's about a three and a half. Like, it's very, it's above average, which, going for a video game movie and a live-action animated movie, this... I'm not gonna say it's the Citizen Kane of <laughs> animated movies, but um, it's it's up there. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, I'll, I'll give it a three and a half. Speaking of, that's gonna be that's probably gonna have to be our, our, one of our videos, like a ranking video game movies. Good lord. Yeah. So you know you're gonna love it. Uh, you know you're gonna love it. Prince of Persia. <laughs> Daria, what you give it? Yeah, I was waffling between a three and a four, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a four. Because, like I said, it's, you know, it wasn't like that bad. Just some spots could have been cut or fluff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm kind of with him. Like, I've been between a three and a four. Uh, and if I could, I'd be like, hey, it's about three and a half, you know. I mean, you uh, got the assets. I yeah. know. I know I do. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm also as lazy as you. <laughs> but, um, like, I want to give it a four. But it's not like four worthy. It's I see right what you're saying. Yeah. It's like right there. It's like if if I had to like give it a decimal, it's like three point seven like five eight. It's like it's yeah. right there, but it's not a four. So you know, three and a half, three. You know, it's 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 good. It's good. You know, go see it. If you're a fan of Pokemon, definitely go see it. If you got kids, take them to it. Go see it. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be yeah. enjoyable. Um, it's inoffensive. It's it's probably. Aside from maybe Mortal Kombat, and that's more for nostalgia's sake, probably the best video game movie that we've had. Now that I think about it, yeah, mm-hmm. it's probably the best video game movie that we have had, and it's perfect. Yeah, it's it's perfect for that particular you know genre. Yeah. Now I'm gonna have to teach my sister the Pokemon song so she's not. I thought I did a each bomb. Pokemon to understand. You know what? I gave it my own flair, my own spin. So that's my artwork. She gave it her sauce, and you're going to have to live with that. Yeah. Okay, she could have her sauce on Melody. Okay. Uh, we can you agree with that, right? You can't tell me what sauce to have on a Melody. That was mine. That's like saying you can't have ketchup on a hot dog. Right. How are you going to tell me what that <laughs> is? How are you going to flip-flop between the both? He's playing us against each other. You know that, right? I don't care. How are you going to tell me <laughs> what sauce I can put on my like, Melody? He's going to agree with me and then be like, you know what? You're wrong. I would say, what if I feel like having blue cheese on my melody? You can't control or stuff. That's mine. Maybe not blue cheese. Blue cheese stinks. Thank you. Okay, well, maybe mustard or mayonnaise. There we go. Oh, man. It's my melody. Oh, my God. Ooh, Let her cares. eat her melody how she wants to. You know what? We will be eating each other's melody as we like 
Ne- I almost said next time. Actually, hold on. Before we do that, I got two things to say. I'll go for it. One, if this art book exists, I need it because I want to. Because these backdrops are gorgeous. Yeah. And two, I don't want to see the. I don't want to see Sonic. I don't either. I don't. I, I don't. Sonic movie. Not only are you going to see the Sonic movie, you're going to see it with us. And no, you're going to review it with no, us. I'm going to be living in another state. We're going to be going to that state. Oh dear. We're going to be. We're we're going to kidnap you. We're going to drag you out to see Sonic. And you're going to see Sonic's weird ass lips. And you know what? They're probably going to put six ass nipples on them. Just be like nipples. Oh god. Sonic nipples. That's what you're going to get. Well, they're really? going to redo the movie. Yeah, and they're not, going to put nipples on. Not the movie. Well, the Sonic design and. Even though, like, the Sonic design was the least of the movie's problems. Uh, do have agree. you seen the Have you seen the trailer? I've seen I don't it agree. Times. Why you got Gangsta's Paradise? I, that yeah. is a big problem. Yeah, I don't that's understand that. that either. This has nothing to do with nothing to do with Sonic. You. <laughs> you know what? Gangsta like Paradise it. is not Sonic. We'll, we'll catch catch you out. We'll catch you later, deuces. Bye. Bye.